What is up you guys? Ayo it's Lance again on your screen and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that notification bell for you to be notified whenever I upload new videos. Today I'm going to show you how to create or add an animated countdown timer using the latest Filmora version 11.6. So without further ado, let's start if you have your own exercise workout video or maybe gaming videos and uh, you need the countdown timer this effect will be very useful for you you just need to import your video right here but i don't have my own video clip so i'm just gonna get it from the stock media just to give you an example this is what we are going to do so let me just search for an exercise video first uh, let's say on a treadmill oh, there you go there's one video right here so let's say you have imported your video clips already you just need to drag and drop it on your video editing timeline drop it here on the video track all right so let's watch it first so here's uh, a man doing an uh, exercise on a treadmill after you drag and drop your video clip you just go over to uh, effects right here and then uh, scroll down a little bit and you are going to see this timer effect which has 50 presets available would you look at that that's so many okay so let's look at some examples first we have here some circle countdown of course we need to download it first there you go these are some of the samples which uh, you can choose from for your uh, videos it really depends on how you would want your video to look like with the timer but yeah you can pick among these effects uh, i'm just going to try this one right here let's download it first there you go add it to the second video track as an overlay so just drag and drop it right here there you go so we made uh, this effect as an overlay and you can already see the timer on the top of your video right here so as we can see my video clip sample has only 10 seconds available and the preset has 60 seconds or one minute maybe other people would just say that uh, you know just download it from youtube just get from other uh, website just download some other timer as a video that is the problem because most of them are not available for editing for tweaking some settings here in filmora 11's timer effects you can uh, tweak its settings by just uh, highlighting the effect and then double click it as you can see we have here the rectangle countdown timer settings so we have the number settings the general settings and the theme settings okay so you can do this if you just downloaded a timer from youtube or other platforms so since the timer that we picked is at the 60 seconds we can adjust that using these settings right here on the number so you can see the minute is in one and the second is in zero if you try to adjust this like let's say for example two minutes then your timer will start at two minutes as you can see, my video only lasts for 10 seconds. So we are going to adjust the minute to zero and the second to 10. Okay, so now if you want to adjust the position of the timer, you can go over here on general settings. As you can see, the seconds has already changed. So to adjust the position of the timer, just go over to position X and Y. So for position X, it will determine the position of the timer from left to right. Let's say for example, this one or this one. But I want it in the middle, so let's go with 50.50, okay? And for position Y, it will determine the position of the timer for up and down, okay? So if you studied your math you should you should be able to know this already okay so i want to put it above the man's head right there okay for scale this is the size of the timer if you want to make it bigger you put it 
on a bigger scale if you want to make it uh, smaller lower scale okay for opacity this is for the transparency of the timer and lastly the theme you can also change the text color and background color would you look at that i want to make the background color uh, let's say let's say with the orange one all right for the text color i want it to be white but you can also change yours if you want to so for example you want to make it black or something like that just change the text color right here okay but i want it to be white if you're already done tweaking the timer settings you can already watch it or export it if you want to so just hit ok right here and let's try to render it first oh by the way i forgot you should extend your timer up to the end of the video so that uh, you can uh, maximize the timer countdown or the countdown timer okay lastly if your video is on two times speed or let's say 10 times speed you should also change your timer speed right here okay so my video is in normal speed only so i don't have to change its speed okay the timer speed but if you want to you can change it right here you make it to like this and click ok it will go faster so as you can see the timer already finished halfway through let's change my video speed to two times also So as you can see, the video finished as well as the timer in sync. Whether your video is slow or very very fast, you know, you can adjust the timer by just, uh, you know, editing some of its settings. Especially the number right here. We have the minutes and second right here. So any type of timer can be edited, okay? So just to show you this one. So add that right there you can also adjust its timer as you can see let's say uh 10 seconds and there you have it again there are uh, 50 countdown timer on this new update of filmora version 11.6 i hope that you can try it out for your project so that's it for this video if you like it please smash that like button for me and don't forget to hit that subscribe button ayo it's lance and i'm signing off Peace out.